In this episode of Valheim, you attack my home, I will make you pay for that. Hey, 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 okay. This is actually not good. That is a lot of guys. Hello everyone and welcome back. Last time we got this melter done and the charcoal in the kiln and this time we are going to be advancing into the copper. And we'll head back to the black forest and start mining some of these coppers so we can make new armor and new tools and weapons. Excuse me, do not throw stuff at me while I'm mining. The crate dwarves, oh hello skeleton, could you finish him? Thank you. And we have a weapon for you as well, so boom. But the, uh, the great dwarves are just gatekeeping us from the copper. They're trying to halt our progress. I can't remember how much copper we need, but I will just take as much as we can. We also need to fix our pickaxe soon, but we are pretty close to the crypt that we have our workbench at. And we are almost full already. We just got 22 from that and we are at 291. I already threw away all the stones that we got from there, so it is only copper that we are carrying. Well, to be fair, we have a lot of food with us, but yeah, I wanted to be prepared. Carrot seeds. Hmm. I haven't done any farming in this game yet, so we could look into that if we can make a farm for us. I remember on one of the rune stones we saw that we can make a piggy farm, so we can tame or somehow. Ooh, if I pick all the copper that we get from here, we are at 336. Copper is super heavy. God, I am. How much do we have to throw away? Few. Okay. Like four copper ores were 40 kilos. Yeah. One copper is 10 kilos. Ah, damn. Okay, well, we are going to head back home. We should have some charcoal ready there waiting for us, and we will start melting this copper. Yeah, I can see a mountain of charcoal just waiting for us. This side is for the coal. Oh yeah, I planted the smelter sideways. Well, <laughs> I want to make a smithing area, because that is our sauna building, this will be our tavern. I want to make a blacksmith somewhere over here as well. So we will redesign this a little bit. This will not be our smeltery configuration, but it's okay for now. And there we go. Nice. We should be getting copper from there now. Bees have honey. Aww, <laughs> the bees are sleeping. Good night, bees. Sweet dreams. Can we sleep as well? You are wet. Oh, we cannot sleep when wet. Well, we can dry off in our sauna, no worries. But I don't think it's nighttime yet, so... Oh, we can, okay. Oh, I slipped and it became nighttime. Hmm, I don't like that. But now we should have some copper here waiting for us. Yep, and we'll make some more charcoal. There we go. We don't have any more coal, but we do have ore. Nice. And we got a forge, we need coal and stone. Okay, we got those, no worries. New crafting station, forge and copper knife. For now, I just wanted to have our crafting areas next to each other. I will build an actual base for us as well. So no worries, this is just temporary. Is this enough? There we go. We can make a copper knife and nothing else. Hmm. Can we upgrade the forge somehow? I remember there were some but we cannot make the upgrades yet. We also can make a raft, coin pile, and coin stacks. That's a lot of money. Yeah, we can make a sign, so why not? Uh, this is the sauna. There we go. Oh, it just says sauna, and there is actually no writing on that. Well, now we know what that building is for. The forest is moving. Oh. Oh yeah, it's a raid. Hmm. Well, hello, great dwarves. I just wanted to chill and get some copper, but you attack my home. I will make you pay for that. That's a lot of them. God, and that's a lot. Ooh. Okay, well, we are rested, so... Ooh, hey, 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 hey. There is no brutes or anything. It's just the graylings and the great dwarves, so this is not too bad. We're pretty well prepared against these guys. Like, we have good armor, we have okay weapons against these, and yeah, we have eaten and rested before this. So come on. Ooh, okay, there is a brute. Hello. Oh, there is a shaman as well. God damn it. Okay, I want to clear out these guys 
fast. So the shaman won't heal them. Except the shaman is... Where is the shaman going? Okay. Well, the shaman can stay there. I don't mind that he's not here healing these guys. The forest rests again. Okay. Mm, we run out of honey. Well, I will eat some more. No worries. We can actually eat some more meat as well. There we go. Oh, the shaman came here. And yeah, you can see that he's healing them. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, this is actually not good. That is a lot of guys. The hardest enemy is the damn brute. Hmm. I'll just clear out the little guys first. There we go. We got a few more little guys down. There's not too many. But yeah. I cannot fight them all at the same time. Oop. I didn't block that one. Okay, there is only one little guy and then the shaman and the brute. Well, shaman, I will take you down first. I will not heal the brute, that's for sure. There we go. Okay. We're fine, we're fine. We have 20 HP, but no stamina. Damn. Ooh, come on then, brute. Let's fight. What you wanna do, huh? What you wanna do? Come on, hit me. Hit me, you won. Hit me. Hit me. Ooh. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. Blocked. And boom, 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 jump, jump, boom, boom, okay, there we go. Ooh. The Elder is sending his troops against us. Ah, oh, damn. What do you have to say about this hugging? You've been invaded. The monsters will lay siege to your camp from time to time. Strength of arms does not guarantee your victory in these situations. Build a strong defense to weather out the storm. Okay. Well, I have built some walls, but as you can see, we don't have the defenses ready yet. <laughs> Not at all. But we survived, so that's fine. Okay, all of our copper is now in the forge. I was a bit confused that what we needed for the new tools, but they were not copper tools. They are bronze tools, and bronze needs tin and copper to be mixed. So we need to head back into the black forest and find some tin ore as well. Also we need to get some more copper as well. Like the 17 copper or whatever we had is not nearly enough. Hello dear. Boom. Nice. Oh yeah, this is the castle that we died at and we didn't clear it so... Oh, hello. Uh, let's take our mallet. Boom. Ooh, that did a lot of damage to the building as well. Damn. We could take down the whole castle. I don't want to though. Um, boom. Archer, you will not snipe me. Boom. Um, boom. Nice. Yeah, let's see. Oh, hello. Elder, okay, yeah. We already found the Elder from the crypts, so that's fine. But is there any loot here? No? Nothing? Okay, well, thank you anyways. That's a rock, right? Why does it look like a cow? But hey, I think these are, yeah, these are the tin ores right here. Yep. Where did the big thing go? Don't say that was a actual thing. Oh hell nah. Where did it go? Ugh. I do not want to go into the water and that big thing just disappearing. Oh, I do not like that at all. There we go, tin ore. And we get quite a lot from one of these. But yeah, four ore from one of the small rocks. And there we go, done the four, nice. Well, this is nice and easy to mine at least. Like, this is pretty quick to break as well. The copper is the only one that will take a long time to get. There's quite a lot of guys. Last time we saw this, I thought there was a spawner, but I cannot see a spawner over here. I think they were just guarding this little castle ruins, even though, oh, there is a chest. Oh, well, a few more arrows, thank you, hello. Is that a bird or just a piece of wood? It was a bird. 
Okay. I haven't seen crows in this game, except Hagen. I thought the seagulls were the only birds in the game. I am not looking forward to going to the sea. Ugh. I watched the movie Deep Blue Sea as a kid and yeah, I don't know what kind of phobias I got from that, but I do not like water at all. Okay, we made it back, so let's fill this with tin ore now. There we go, new material tin and now we can make a butcher's knife and copper. So let's take our copper. Oh no, we're carrying too much. Poor Ragnar, you can do it. Make it back to the forge. Come on. I know these steps are heavy, but you got this. Come on. No, so close. Okay, there we go. Now we can make bronze. Nice. And yep, there we go. Now we can make the bronze armor, etc. Yeah, that unlocked a lot. We could technically make one piece of armor. Or let's see, eight for the axe. I kind of want the axe first because that will help us a lot with cutting down trees. Good morning. We slept the night away, so we will get. I'll just take all of these and we sped up the smelting process as well. So, yep. <laughs> Hello. There we go. We have lots and lots of charcoal that we can put into here full charcoal nice we got four more actually oh oh yeah we need two copper per bronze bar so yeah the bronze is really expensive to make but now we should have oh yeah i made all of my wood into charcoal so i need to get some and there we go we now have a bronze axe nice but yeah we need to mine a lot more copper if we want to make the armor and upgrade some of these as well. All right, I figured a way how to make this work. I was struggling a little bit how to make it clean looking and work. For every straight piece like this, we have one of these with two half beams on the each side. And then it will just continue from one side of that into the roof. So there won't be too many of these poles just obstructing our view. And I think this will look amazing when it's done. On the top I have the same one straight beam right there and then two half beams. And then I can just snap the roof right there and there. So yeah, this is perfect. These are quite hard to get into the right place. Like the support beams underneath. But yeah, this is going to be really nice when i actually finish the building like i'm really happy how it's looking so far you fall into the deep well of sleep and dream only of darkness oh well that's not really comforting also having the bed right next to the window is really bad for us like we are getting comfort level one rest from our home from here so i will move it a little bit i will start utilizing the core wood pillars as well because this building will be pretty high. I want this middle part to be two stories tall. So yeah, you can see these are blue because they are connected to the ground. So they are super strong and these are green. When I had these both pillars made from these normal wooden beams, these were already orange. This will bring us a lot more strength into our building. The roof building starts to get a little awkward but I'm managing so far. But this is the plan. I will have the roof going like this and then we will have a second floor on top of that and then we will just finish the roof how we can. And the idea is like, this is the bar or the brewery and the brewery guy will just live in the upstairs area. He will have a bedroom there, etc. There we go. I got the roof ready, at least on the outer side. And yeah, it is looking a lot like the buildings that I had in mind when I was building this. But yeah, I will build another floor on top of here. I don't know how I'm going to decorate this. I kind of have a vision for the bar countertop right here. And then maybe some tables, etc. over here. We will see. And if you have any tips how to improve this building, I am all ears, like I am not a good builder in this game. So yeah, if you have any building tips and tricks, would love to hear them but i'm quite happy how this is looking right now also we connected it really nicely this roof or here and i like how everything is like one over here so far next time we will be gathering more copper from the black forest 
Like, yeah, this time we got the bronze axe. That is really nice, but I want the bronze armor as well before we go and try and take down the elder. But we have a long way to travel there by foot. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And if you did, please leave a like and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.